Generic greetings and welcome to Underground Darkness Simulator, otherwise known as Sheltered 2. In the previous episode, we got a new survivor, follower, don't really know what the proper term for them is, a new person called Deborah who is currently wandering around, but I will tell her to uh, repair everything above because, quite frankly, most of it is absolutely knackered. In the previous episode, we were once again exploring and surviving, and we did both quite well. We managed to get some more stuff from different territories, we obviously spoke to uh, different factions, and we're told to meet there yet it's uh yeah we've, we've got uh <laughs> it's got uh, encounter chances as we go towards there so i don't really want to progress in there with uh, the trading but there you are but either way we are progressing on hopefully quite nicely we're currently deconstructing some items as well so that's good we want to in this episode at least scout out across this water here i i assumed obviously wrong that you couldn't go across there but you can it just takes a little while across so we're going to meet hopefully someone across there that's very friendly <laughs> unlikely um and also i want to check out this barn as well so last visited never we've also got this uh this outpost as well, but yes, the corn in this we we do own, but hmm, curious. Either way, let's go ahead and check out our characters here. It looks like Lisa is going to get a drink. Once they've done that, we'll probably tell them to get some food and then go to sleep, because I want to set up another expedition, and I want at least two of these characters on a similar sort of cycle, so I don't want them, like, sleeping in the daytime and things like that. I want them... I want them sleeping at the same time so that they can go and do the, uh, do whatever is required when we're doing the searching and such. Uh, this trap, by the way, I did mention that it seemed to be a bit of a bug that nothing was spawning to get on the trap. That was a bug and it was patched out, so hopefully we will get that trap working. There are a few bugs in the air seem to be uh, trying to squish them as fast as possible, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go for a clean of that table and probably a... A clean of the shelter because Lisa has some f well, she's having a shower she'll then have some food and then both of these characters will go to sleep Derek is also a little bit wounded uh, they will heal up if we are resting but well we don't ever really rest with them because they don't need sleep because they are uh, yeah they are well, the god trait means they don't sleep, which I still think is really, really powerful. They're this really hungry. Why don't you uh, open the pantry and have some lovely... Oh, that's just peas. I'll tell you what, can we make some pea soup? We'll go to craft item and... Oh, we can't make some pea soup, sadly. Uh, we've only got one set of peas, so we'll go... Oh, looks like she's automatically going to get herself some food. Uh, looks like everything's being cleaned up over on the right-hand side... Uh, Left-hand side there. Um, Derek is getting ready to dismantle stuff i notice we can repair this equipment as well we've got satchels that we can repair but sadly i don't have the leather available hopefully if this trap gets triggered we'll be able to get that so we'll see how that one goes a lot of people leaving suggestions as well for different ways and means to survive and it's a very mixed bag some people finding it a very difficult game some people finding easy i don't know whether that's just different people's experiences the game being random or different skill levels i really don't know the general consensus is that when you go out always take backpacks which is is a fair point uh, make sure you get armor and also lots of water storage because when you get a sort of dry spell it can be problematic our water storage i believe is 120 yes it is and we're on 43 so we're about a third of the way full so it shouldn't be too much of an issue let's go ahead and i just want to check these two characters they are both in need of a little bit of a sleep i'm going to tell them to sleep and then tell those to sleep as well. As I said, I want them both on the same level of um, tiredness, essentially. So they're all, like, you know, uh, okay to go out and scout around and do another expedition. In terms of recycling items, I don't really have anything else to recycle in there. In terms of crafting, I'm not really too sure what would be best. We don't need most what's down here i mean i would like a sink which is pretty good uh, allows faction members to wash their hands reducing the chances of contracting food poisoning when eating by 50 percent obviously that's going to use water i would imagine so most likely just keep cleaning the place hopefully we'll be all right a small greenhouse would be good as well that goes outdoors um a planter would be good as well a medium pantry i mean all these would be good armory though is what i would like to get that allows us to uh 
upgrade and fix weapons. There's also a garage there, which holds vehicles that can be used to explore. Allows you to create vehicles from vehicle chassis you locate in the world. So we've got a lot to build in the game. It's just you don't have the resources to, to do that. So more bags, more crafting, more bringing stuff back. I actually want to make a punching bag. Um, we do have this light weights there, but the strength requirements is between 5 and 10. So if they use that, they're on a very heavy, heavily reduced... Uh, thing there what i'm going to do with derek here is i'm going to go for um let's just check the quest log there's no active quests apparently i'm going to go for oh rain good um request traders let them crack on with that one and i want to see if we can get some trading done don't think we can craft another bag no we can't we've also got camouflage we'll reduce the chances of encountering other people by 25 percent we've got a stab proof vest which is melee damage reduction 20 percent and a range damage 10 percent and then a bulletproof vest so i mean yeah these are pretty good but they're also quite expensive to get but it is what it is these characters having a nice little sleep. Uh, you can see hunger is going up but i think they should be well they're both in the green so technically if i wake these up um, even though they're going to be a little bit unhappy about being woken up, I should be able to go to, uh, where is it, set up expedition, we'll take Martha and Lisa, yep, and they like each other, I could put Derek in there as well, um, you know what, yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's just get as many people out there, basically to, basically to craft stuff uh, to carry stuff should i say so lisa and martha are going to carry the bags uh lisa is strength three so we can't use the knife uh piece as a weapon uh, unless you're allergic not really we can could you use wood actually uh plank of wood no i think in the first game you could use a plank of wood as a <laughs> as a weapon but there you are uh, so both of these are armed with hmm, that bag no is it because it's broken hmm yeah, see that's broke. Increase carrying capacity. No, hang on, that should that should go. No. So it's because it's broken. Yeah, okay. So we'll go to next and we're going to set them to there. So they're gonna go straight over into this faction area and um yeah, next. There you are. So it is just Deborah here who is <laughs> in need of well, she's gonna be looking after the place as we head out. We'll just speed up to max speed here. We're on day 10 of spring, so we have a season thing going. And I wonder what's best for her to do. Um, I mean, probably the beds need repairing. Yeah, let's repair these beds. That one is in need of repair. Shower is in need of repair. And apparently the toilet is not in need of repair. Fair enough. Oh, and the weights bench. Sorry, the weights. The light weights. Well, I mean, what's in need of repair there? It's a metal bar with metal bits on the end with, I guess, if you're looking, metal screws to hold it on. Hmm. Or it could be the horrible plastic sand fill ones. It doesn't look like it, though. That trap is still there. I'm just hoping that it's not bugged the save out and we do actually get spawns of rabbits. Oh, there's one over there. So, perhaps that will function. Lots of stuff to repair. We will repair that and then clean it. Spend most of our time repairing stuff and cleaning, but that's fine. It is what it is. It's fine now. I'm sure it'll start grating later on. This heater is still working, and that water purifier is in need of repairing. I mean, we could up can we upgrade it again? We've got all things to upgrade, like efficiency. Increase the energy and the efficiency of the purification process by 10%, decreasing the time it takes to purify a unit of water. You need a circuit board for that. And, well, we only have a couple. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Grab it. Grab it, rabbit. Grab it. Mm. No. No. <laughs> it uh, knows it's a ruse. <laughs> and there you go. So Deborah has fixed the table and chairs and also repairing the generator with a hammer. Looks like we are crossing the water there. See that? Let's see what we find. Who knows what we will find. And we've got Deborah here who is trying to clean everything. Currently loyalty 15%. So once that gets full, 
we'll be able to send her on expeditions. Ah, we have, oh, that's the Las Mertos. All right, let's uh, change route then. I don't want to go there because that is a 100% chance of encounter, whereas these ones are, oh, look at that, animal density lords, uh, vegetation density lords, but only a 10% encounter chance. So I'm just going to scout around. Obviously, we do want to search and bring stuff back. We do have two characters in order to do that. Look, oh, look how dark it is out there. To be fair, I know I've turned the lights off. Um, but I don't see the reason to keep them on. They use energy, and I'd rather save that. This is also starting to flicker because the fuel is getting low. Which is nice. It gives you a, a visual cue to add. You can like add fat to it. What Deborah's desires? Eat a meal with spinach. Fair enough. Looks like we found an encounter. Oh, look at this! It's like another area controlled by someone. It's another outpost, but we've got a barn there and a building here. Um, let's investigate this. So, encounter in the forest with the Los Muertos. You're interrupting our scouting mission. What do you need? Uh, I need to run away. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't want to be doing this. Escape is successful. Good. Um, back over here, then. We are heading that way. Do I just go to this barn, or do I visit that? You know what? Visit that. Confirm, and then I'll head back. So see what happens there. We can't really... Oh, we can craft a couple of things, but there's nothing that we... Let's say the main thing I want is that. I want that light punch bag. Because while they're doing nothing, they can be using that. But there you are. So we are plants are ready to harvest. It is this one. Fully grown harvest plants. The other broccoli is also on 96%. So there's the broccoli. Plant seeds. We'll plant broccoli again. And another encounter. Oh, no. Yes, another encounter. Oh, this is the encounter in an apartment with the black roses. Hmm. Who are you and why are you in our territory? This land belongs to the black roses. Has, Always has, always will. We're not in the habit of letting strangers pass through our land. We're not going to start now. So who are you? Black roses, strictly non-male group. We are extremely well practiced in ranged combat. You'll find it hard to make it even close to us without gaining a new hole in your head. Work together? If you're looking for trade and alliance, your group will have to contact our leader by radio. I will walk away. So we've countered this faction. Um, right. What's that there? It's like a little... Hmm. Looks to be controlled by someone else. Now, here's the thing. This is apartment. I can go there and come back, and I think I will do that. It's because that's the first time we've met them, it didn't give us the option to search that place. Hang on a second. Looks so like the rabbit is not too bothered about us walking past. No, scared off again. Craft item. Let's get some broccoli. Broccoli on the go. Broccoli soup. Craft that up. And... And we'll be able to eat that as well. Open pantry. Eat. 25 lightly. Oh, it goes up quite quick then. So by the time the expedition party is pretty much back, we'll be alright. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to go back that way. Close. Because although will be full from the first one. I want to see what's in the second and get the best gear and bring it back. <laughs> I don't think that's unreasonable. Uh, we will clean that and clean the shelter. Uh, mood is not great. But then we've seen problems with the mood because of the lighting, even though we've got these lights in here. Searching underwear. In fact, almost completed. There it is. A few items. Take all. Can't take everything. So what can we take? Well, not bringing back a yoga ball. I will bring back this yarn. Scrap 
Is that silver scrap? Yeah, it's got trade value one. I think. Sand is important to bring back because. Oh, we can't pick that up. We need it for our punch bag, I believe. Uh, it just seems. It seems ridiculous to bring back, like, big logs. Um. Okay. That'll do us for now. Confirm. And close. We'll search the other place on the way back. Some of our plants are ready to harvest. We'll do that in a moment. I would very much like to upgrade the weather vein. But you need a lot more stuff and I just don't have that capability. Let's go ahead and harvest that plant. We'll most likely plant the peas, I think, if we've got peas left. There's broccoli. Plant seeds. I think that was... I don't know which one I... Uh, it just says plant. I don't, know which one, I don't know what we're planting. Let's see. Broccoli again. Alright. No drama. Uh, green fingers. Gather more when harvesting food crops. We've ranked that up. So that is part of our goals. So that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and craft item. Oh, so we got five broccoli instead of the usual four. That's good. Search is finished here. We'll view that item. And, oh, right. We have hammers. We have tools, basically. Let's just say take all. It's going to transfer stuff to us. There's some gold scrap. So we'll take the gold scrap and we'll take a hammer. And we'll take the leather. We'll take the metal. We'll take... Um, I mean the books are nice and there's tyres and such vehicle part nylon, nails motors, lenses pipes transistors straight up planks and bullets probably get rid of a TV to take paint can do we really want paint cans? Don't think so. Get the books because we can use that for training. And let's take the rest. We'll come back for the other stuff anyway. Confirm. And we'll head back. And obviously there's still another place to search as well. Um I wonder. Can we use lightweights? No, we can't. What we need for the punch bag? Uh, we need leather, rope, wool, and sand. We are bringing back two sand. We're bringing back a couple of leather and the wool. The only thing we need is rope, which I'm going to guess we can craft rope from wool. Yeah, so I might not have enough uh, for all of that. All right. I also need enough to repair the satchel. I know you can get um, kids' bags as well. Nothing in the junk pile. I'll tell you what we'll do as well. We'll also add fat to these here. See, these are, these have now gone out. So we need to add add fuel to them. That lantern's alright. That lantern's okay. That's okay. All of these two will need lighting at some point. You see they are flickering there. So we're on our way back. It's going to take a little while to cross this. But as soon as we we'll cross that, it's just straight up desert. No dramas in getting back, really. I'm going to request traders. Why not? Because we'll have a lot of stuff to trade. And looks like everybody's about back. Oh, there's a trader. Just as we come along. <laughs> nice. So, take all the items. We The only thing we can't take is, is that, apparently. Um, I will... Why can't we take that? It's nothing to do with weight. No. It's to do with storage in here. The medicine cabinet is full. Okay. Um. I 
don't really know what the deal is then. What the best course of action would be. Uh, sea traders items. They've got knives and baseball bats and such. Requires strength 6 for a baseball bat. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trade them. If I can find it. One of those. Trade value is 10. And we'll take... Well, apparently trade value is high for those. We'll do that. Attempt that trade. Agreed with a deal. And now, should be able to open junk pile and take that. There we go. <laughs> so, that was probably the best way of doing it. I'm going to stop uh, trading. I'm going to go to repair. Obviously, all of these characters have spent quite a, num quite a number of days out and about. So, we don't want to. Um, we don't want to be stressing them out and such. We're going to let them take care of their own needs. Maintenance increases repair speed. Oh, and also, hammer, yes! There we go. Shouldn't be that excited over hammer, but there's now a hammer there, and our tool efficiency has gone up to 10%. Excellent. This is what we like to see. Um, I think with Deborah, I'll go to recycle items and recycle... There's nothing really... Bring stuff back to recycle? Not really. We want a craft then. Two rope. Perfect. So when we use this rope, we need two rope, I believe. Two rope in order to make a punch bag. But we also need four wool. So by crafting that uh, the stuff for that, we won't then have the stuff for that. Excellent. Just what we need. I uh, don't think a makeshift laboratory is strictly necessary. So, yeah. Punch bag. Okay, well, we'll just do that then. Craft item. Two rope. Confirm. You can see these characters are now lying down and uh, going to bed. That rabbit's still not interested in that trap. I might dismantle it. Yeah, you can see craft, we're just short of wool. <laughs> I don't think... Yeah, it's the same trader. Can we tell him to go away? Don't know if we can. Um... Oh, have they got food poisoning? Yes, they got food poisoning. Open medicine cabinet then. And use that. And they also do need to lie down eventually as well, because they are a little bit wounded. They got food poisoning, not because of how unclean the shelter is. The shelter's quite clean, it's just because, well, as you can see, they are in <laughs> desperate need of a shower. Why are they not taking a shower then? Take shower with soap. Water's good, 103, so we're fine there. Should be alright. I guess I'll get this character to clean. Lisa says he's cold. Well, not much else I can really do. Because it's 2.8 degrees there, 3.8 degrees there, and 9.7 in there. We've got that halogen heater. I mean, that's as... The only thing I can possibly craft is that there. That might work, actually. Craft object. Let's do that. Let's put that partition in. And because we then got these two partitions to keep the heat in, it might work better. I do stress might. I, <laughs> I have no idea. I'm actually going to tell this character to sleep. It doesn't matter what they sleep on. They just need to rest. Oh, but they're having a little chat, actually. Talk to... Talk to... Oh, have a little chat, finally. <laughs> Oh, they're stuck. Oh. That's not ideal. That's... Oh. Right. Um... <laughs> we have a wee bit of a problem here. Let's go and set up Expedition. And I'll bring that character. Let's see if 
if we can actually do anything here with them. But that seems to be a bit of a failure state. I'm going to travel to... There. That's not good. I'm hoping, though, that when they leave, this will start counting up. Oh, at least the rabbit's been snared. Yep, that is bad. They are stuck. <laughs> Strangely, I did notice an experimental patch that is going around. That says prevents it says fixes characters getting stuck or something. But I never had the bug before. Virginia, it wouldn't happen to be taking new recruits, would you? No, not at this stage. The current recruits can't even walk, so I'm not looking for really anyone else. Um Right, so a bit of a shorter episode, I guess. because uh, <laughs> this character we can't do anything. Um change route. Come back, I guess. I don't really have much choice, do I? Um Yeah, can we just tell them to come back? Confirm. Will they just turn back up? Leaving shelter still? So that's been a bit of shelter too. Uh, a little bit of a short one. <laughs> we have literally done one exploration over to here. And found there's an event going on, to be fair. Animal density increase. Hunting will yield better results than normal over there. Okay. And weakened outposts. But yeah, um, we're going to leave it there. Due to bugs, we can't leave the shelter. I'm hoping that that experimental patch fixes it, or by the time you watch this, there might be a patch out anyway. But uh, yeah, we'll see in the next episode whether or not we can recover from this one. That will be interesting. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this very short look at Shelter 2. <laughs> Next time, we will, uh, yeah, hopefully be able to actually do a little bit more. But, there you are. Disappointing. We're going to leave it there for now. It's been a bit of Shelter 2. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.